Now in this video we're going to look at the pull up resistor right here. We have a PNP bipolar junction transistor wired as a switch. So it's right there. This is a 2N3906. The flat side is to the left and the emitter is on top. It comes to that orange jumper. You can see the uh, positive supply there of 5 volts and then the base is the uh, middle pin. That goes to a 10 kilo ohm resistor that goes up to the switch. It has a direct connection to that resistor there. When I press the button, these bottom pins will also connect to the top pins. Then it will connect directly to ground, as you can see there. We have the collector of the uh, 2N3906 right there to the long lead, the anode of the LED, short lead the cathode to the uh, 220 ohm resistor. So I have them in opposite order there. Doesn't matter, they're in series and uh, so the same current is going to flow through them as long as the LED is in the right direction. So, in any case, we have the switch here. We don't need the pull-up resistor for this to operate. The reason we need the pull-up resistor is if, I'm going to turn the light off, I touch the resistor there, you can see my body can actually give the PNP bipolar junction transistor enough base current, because I can produce a little bit of voltage from the electrical stuff around me, bouncing energy into me and uh, so that will amplify it so not a lot of uh, current but enough if that is a problem then we can take the uh, pull up resistor since it's a PNP bipolar junction transistor so that uh, positive voltage there helps hold it off so I can either stick it back on that side there or we can put it over here because the uh, bottom two pins are always connected and you may be able to see that faint glow of the LED there. So now we got the uh, pull up resistor. It's holding the uh, 5 volts to the base because it doesn't conduct. And uh, you can see here that uh, it's off completely right there, even as I touch that base resistor. So that is why you use pull up resistors at inputs. And so this one, it's a bipolar junction transistor. We still need some current to go into the base, actually, out of the base in this one. And uh, so we have a resistor there. There's other integrated circuit inputs and stuff that do not rely on current. No current goes in or out other than a tiny trickle. And then so you'll see the uh, pull-up resistor directly to those inputs and then a direct connection to ground if you're using a pull-up resistor. So in any case, those are topics for other videos. Hopefully this one made sense when you're working with the PNP bipolar junction transistor and you need a pull-up resistor. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. That helps out the most. I have links down in the description. But just watching videos helps a ton. Thanks to everybody that does that. I will see you in the next video.